Recently, a new Android emulator has been launched in the market, and it's gaining a lot of popularity. Most creators are making videos about this Android emulator, but the problem is that they are not testing it on a real low-end PC. That's why I thought, why not test this emulator on my old laptop, where I have already tested many emulators. In this video, I'll provide you with a complete guide on how to download and install this emulator. Additionally, I'll show you my PC specs so that all your doubts regarding system requirements are clear. And at the end of the video, I'll share a bonus tip. If you miss that tip, you might miss out on something valuable. Let's start the video. So, I have now come to my PC screen. First of all, let me show you the specifications of my PC, so that all your doubts regarding the system requirements can be cleared. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. The download link for this zip file will be available in the description below, and its size is 381 MB. You just need to right-click on the zip file and extract it. Since the size is 381 MB, the extraction process won't take much time. After extraction, Go into the folder and simply launch the file with a launcher in its name. As soon as you launch it, the loading process of this emulator will begin. Until this emulator is launching, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the bell notification to stay updated on my latest videos. Now, our emulator has launched without any errors, and as you can see, it is running very smoothly. Talking about its Android version, you will find Android 4 within it. Unlike most emulators where you have to manually configure settings, this emulator comes with pre-configured settings. Additionally, you don't need to set up key mappings manually, as about 90% of key mappings are already configured. Moreover, if I show you the RAM usage, it is consuming around 70% of the 2GB RAM, which is quite efficient. Now the question is, how can you download and install games on this emulator? Look. You can use the Play Store for downloading games, but I recommend using a browser for this. Simply go to any browser, type the name of the game, and add Android 4 after it. Then, you can download games from any website you prefer. Let's move on to installing the games. To install, just drag and drop the game file. As soon as you do that, the game installation will start. Let me quickly install a few games. So. I've installed some games. Now, let's test them. As you can see, the gameplay is very smooth and I'm not experiencing any lag. I quite like this emulator. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, feel free to recommend them. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.